Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice quadratic equation 6 x to the power 4 plus uh, x cubed minus 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So, let us start by dividing both sides of this equation by x to the power 4. We have the given equation 6 times x to the power 4 plus x cubed minus 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 0 and we divide each term by x to the power 4. So, this x to the power 4 will be cancelled out with this x to the power 4 and here we are left with 6 plus this x cubed over x to the power 4 will become 1 over x minus this 2x over x to the power 4 will become 2 over x cubed minus this 1 over x to the power 4 remains the same 1 over x to the power 4 is equal to 0. Now, we move these two terms uh, negative 2 over x cubed and uh, negative 1 over x to the power 4 to the right hand side. So, this negative 1 over x to the power 4 will become positive 1 over x to the power 4. This negative 2 over x cubed will become plus 2 over x cubed is equal to this 1 over x plus 6, 1 over x plus 6. Now, this 1 over x to the power 4 can be written as 1 over x and whole to the power 4 plus this 2 over x cubed can be written as 2 times 1 over x whole cubed is equal to 1 over x plus 6. Now, we suppose that 1 over x is equal to m. So, this will become let 1 over x is equal to m. So, this equation will become m to the power 4 plus 2 times m cubed is equal to m plus 6. Now, we make this left hand side a perfect square according to this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole square. So, we write this m to the power 4 as m squared whole squared plus and we write this 2m cubed as 2 times the first term is this one m squared and because here we have m cubed so we write as the second term m to make this a perfect square we must add at left hand side m squared is equal to this expression m plus 6 since we have added m squared at left hand side so we must add m squared at the right hand side. Now, by using this algebraic identity, this expression at the left hand side will become m squared plus m whole squared is equal to we rearrange these terms, uh, we write this m squared first m squared plus uh, m plus 6. Now, we suppose that this uh, m squared plus m is equal to t. Let m squared plus m is equal to t. So, this will become t squared is equal to t plus 6. We move these two terms to the left hand side. This will become t squared minus t minus 6 is equal to 
0. In this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this t squared t squared. And we split this negative t as a negative 3 times t plus 2 times t minus 6 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out t. In bracket left t minus 3. From these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 2. In bracket left t minus 3 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression t minus 3 is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, t minus 3 and uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left this t and this plus 2 in bracket left uh, t plus 2 is equal to 0 and from here is this expression t minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 3 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 2. Now recall that uh, recall that uh, m squared plus m is equal to t. Recall that uh, m squared plus m is equal to t. So, when t is equal to 3, then this equation will become m squared plus uh, m is equal to 3. And when t is equal to negative 2, then this will become m squared plus m is equal to negative 2. Now, again recall that uh, we have supposed We have supposed that uh, 1 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that uh, m is equal to 1 over x. So, we replace uh, this m and this m with 1 over x. This equation will become 1 over x whole squared plus 1 over x is equal to 3. We replace uh, this m and this m with this 1 over x. This will become 1 over x whole squared plus uh, 1 over x is equal to negative 2. Now, for this equation, this 1 over x whole squared will become 1 over x squared plus this 1 over x is equal to 3. If we multiply both sides by x squared, this implies that uh, 1 plus uh, x is equal to 3x squared. We move these two terms uh, to the right hand side, then this will become 3 times x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation, it is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 3 times c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 3. Next, x is equal to negative times negative 1 will become positive 1 plus or minus square root of this negative 1 squared is 1 negative 4 times 3 times negative 1 plus 12. So, 1 plus 12 will become 13 divided by this 2 times 3 6. Now, from this equation, this uh, 1 over x whole squared will become 1 over x squared plus 1 over x is equal to negative 2. If we multiply both sides by x squared, 
this implies that uh, 1 plus uh, x is equal to negative 2 x squared. Move this uh, negative 2 x squared to the left hand side. This will become positive 2 times x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. And uh, according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative value of b is 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 2 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 2. Next x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of this 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 2 times 1 negative 8. 1 minus 8 will become negative 7 divided by 2 times 2 4 and x is equal to negative 1 plus minus this square root of negative 7 will become i times root 7 divided by 4. So, from this equation we get two values of x, x1 is equal to 1 plus root 13 over 6 and second value of x is equal to 1 minus root 13 over 6 and from this equation we get the third value of x is equal to negative 1 plus i times root 7 over 4 and fourth value of x is equal to negative 1 minus i times root 7 divided by 4. So, we have uh, four solutions of uh, this equation.